The Snapdragon 875 will launch in the first week next month and it is going to power most of the Android flagships next year. It is rumored that one of the first phones to launch with the Snapdragon 875 will be the Xiaomi Mi 11 and this phone is reported to launch as soon as in January. If you don't know, on the 14th of January, the Samsung Galaxy S21 series is also launching, so Xiaomi will definitely try to be the first to launch a phone with Snapdragon 875. Anyways, today an upcoming Xiaomi flagship powered by the Snapdragon 875 was benchmarked on Geekbench, which revealed the Geekbench scores of this chipset. Now it is worth mentioning that this benchmark is definitely from a test version of the Xiaomi device, so when this phone actually launches, there might be some improvements in the scores. Also, while we cannot confirm that it is indeed the Xiaomi Mi 11, we are expecting it to be the Mi 11 because that is going to be the first Xiaomi flagship to launch next year. On Geekbench, the single core score of the Snapdragon 875 is around 1100, whereas the multi-core score is around 3500. Now, these scores are definitely higher than those of Snapdragon 865 and 865 Plus, but that isn't a surprise, right? When compared to the Kirin 9000 chipset from Huawei, the single core score is slightly higher and the multi core score is slightly lower. But again, as I said earlier, this is a test version of the phone, so the benchmark scores are going to be higher in case of the production model. We also know the specifications of the Snapdragon 875, so it has a similar configuration for the CPU as the Snapdragon 865, which means there is no change in the clock speeds. But compared to the Cortex A77 based cores of the Snapdragon 865, the Snapdragon 875 has the newer and better Cortex X1 and Cortex A78 cores. The Cortex X1 offers 30% better peak performance than the A77 and it is 23% faster than the A78. So this should give you a rough idea of how powerful the CPU of the Snapdragon 878 is. Now Qualcomm is not the only chipset maker that will be using the Cortex X1. In fact, Samsung has gone for the same configuration for its next year's flagship chipset, the Exynos 2100. The Exynos 2100 has higher clock speeds as well, which means on paper the Exynos 2100 beats the Snapdragon 875, which is really interesting. So that's it for this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.